Hello students and anyone else who may be watching from home. My name is Mr. Borges, also known as Zanzolo, and I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you to Lockington to Middle School. The purpose of this video is to learn about some of the ways that we do things at Lockington to Middle School during distance learning. So we're going to be learning a little bit about Canvas, a bit about Zoom, a bit about your school email, and a little bit about Illuminate. Oh, let's get started. Hey everybody, so we're going to be learning how to log into Canvas. Now Canvas is the learning management system that we use here at the school. It's basically where your online class lives. Now we meet, our online classes meet in Zoom, but the content, the assignments, the forms, the place where you turn things in, and even where you look up your grades and stuff, all that is in Canvas. So to get to Canvas or to some of those other tools that we're gonna be using, we're gonna to get to the school website to find the digital tools page. So pull up your favorite web browser. I'm using Google Chrome. I'm gonna do a Google search here for Lockton to Middle School. And it comes up with this first link right here. It's the morongousd.com link. So from here, we get to our school website and we'll talk about some of these other things later on. You will need to know something about our AB scheduling and some of the calendar information, and you can find that here on our school website. But up here at the top, so we're gonna to go to our digital tools. So we click this link right here. This link hasn't been updated yet, so there's a redirect link right here. This may or may not be updated when you're doing this in the future. If it still says this, that's fine, or it might take you straight to this, which is where we're trying to go. So from here, this is a super handy dandy website. You're probably gonna be using several times a day. I would recommend bookmarking this one. So go ahead and click the little star if you're using Google Chrome to bookmark it, or if you're using a different web browser, bookmark it the way that you're used to. Okay, so here we can access lots of tools, right? Office 365, your Google Suite stuff, Google Docs, Google Drive, Illuminate, the place where you can see your grades and attendance and things like that. But we're going to be logging into Canvas. So click on Canvas. Canvas recognizes me, remembers my password from before, and that is not what you're going to enter. So your username, if you don't already know what it is, if it's the same username you've been using, if you've been a Morongo Unified School District student, it's the same username that you've been logging onto computers with uh, all along. And if you're not sure what that is, I can tell you it's going to be your first name dot last name and the last two digits of your student ID. So for example, if Tom Hanks was a student in my class, his username would be Tom.Hanks and it would be the last two digits of his student ID. Now if his student ID is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then the last two digits are 8, 9. And so that would be Tom's username. Tom would then click next and then Tom would enter his password. Now, since his username is 12345678, the last four digits of his path of his user, sorry, of his student ID number, the last four digits of Tom's student ID number will be 6789. So that would be his password. You click sign in, and of course it's not gonna work because Tom's not an actual student in my class. I'm gonna put a little graphic right here that shows that pattern first dot last and the last two digits of your student ID and the password being the last of four digits of your student ID. Now if you don't know your student ID number or if you're having trouble logging in, it seems like it should work and it's not, please go ahead and call the school office. The folks in the school office are going to be able to help you look up your student ID number. They'll double check if you're entering the right username and let, and, and, and let you know if it's set up or not or what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get logged in with my username and password that my browser is remembering. And then you'll see, here we are in Canvas. Now my view's a little different than yours. I've got all these teacher tasks over here, some things to grade over the break and stuff like that. Here I've got some courses, and you'll have some courses. We'll talk about those in the next section. And then here you'll see where it says account. So you can go ahead and click on your account. And then under settings, there's a few settings that you can change, right? So you can, change your profile picture, you can upload a picture that you have or have your laptop or phone take a picture. Right? You can choose a picture that's stored on your laptop, just make sure that it is school appropriate. Okay. And then you have a couple of other settings that you can set over here in settings. If you have preferred pronouns, you can select those here. And you 
can also make any settings to your uh, preferred language here also. All right, so in the case of that, so I'm not changing anything. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go back to my dashboard. In our next section, we're gonna talk about the dashboard, how we can find our courses, and how we can find our Zoom links. Those are the places where our class actually meets online. All right, folks, so we'll see you in the next one.